What's up? Today I'm doing a favorites video because I haven't done a favorites video since like January, so I'm doing one. This is going to be all of my favorites for summer 2015. I have skincare, beauty, fashion, random things, movies, songs, you know, everything. <laughs> so I'm gonna start off with my skincare products because I have a few of them for the summer and I just really like them. The first one is a body wash and this is the Dove Purely Pampering Body Wash and it is in Pistachio Cream with Magnolia which this smells so good you guys. I basically like it because of the smell. Next I have some makeup remover wipes and these are the Makeup Dissolving Facial Cleansing Wipes by Clean and Clear and I use these all the time. I love these and they don't like irritate my eyes or anything which is always a plus. This. This you guys is my favorite out of like all of my favorites. This is like number one, top notch. It is the Clean and Clear Continuous Control Acne Cleanser. I use it twice a day and it is amazing. So if you guys want to see like an updated skincare routine or not updated, a skincare routine because I've never done one before, then give this video a thumbs up and I will do that. I have another face cleanser which is this. This is also by Clean and Clear and it is the Persa Gel 10 medication acne cleanser thing you know whatever you call it and it comes in this cute little bottle and I really like it so yeah any last skincare product is kind of weird I got this from one of my friends for my birthday and I actually really like it so it is this mineral foot soak and it is by Sally Hansen and I really like it it just like makes your feet so soft and just like you know great it's just great on to some beauty products the first one I have is this this is amazing I love it so much it is the dream pure BB cream and it's my Maybelline and I got this for my birthday from one of my friends and it is just amazing I put this on like after I put all of my other makeup on just to kind of like I don't know it makes my skin more clear I guess and it just like evens out your skin tone and I really like it so I have this as a favorite what? Next, I have a favorite mascara, which I have been really loving. It is amazing. It is by Maybelline and is the Rocket Volume Express, and it comes in this cool little, like, blue tube with pink lettering on it, and I really like it, so, yeah, that's what I've been putting on my lashes, if you guys were interested. I have been really into doing my eyebrows, like, I have been wanting to do my eyebrows for so long, like actually like do something to them, but I never knew like what to use and I still don't kind of know what to use. I've been using an eyeshadow palette, which I know it's kind of weird using eyeshadow for your eyebrows, but you know, I think it works. I think it looks fine and until I get like a actual eyebrow thing, this is what I'm using. This is by Maybelline and it just has four shades, but I use this one if you guys can see that it's like the only shade that's not sparkly i have been wearing this lip gloss every single day i'm not even kidding you i don't remember the last time i have not worn this this is just a little lip gloss from sephora and it is amazing i'm kind of like running low on it so i might go and pick up a new one but i got this a long time ago so i don't even know if i still sell it anyways i've been loving this i'm wearing it right now and i just i love it i love it and then for a nail polish i have been wearing this one a lot i actually don't have it on my nails right now i have this like mint green color this color is really pretty it's like a corally pink color and i don't know what it's called i don't oh it's called Thimbleberry or something like that. Alright, so I have one hair product and I know Mallory has a hair product That is crazy because you guys know I don't do like anything to my hair. I like my hair natural Which is you know this I have one product that I've been loving and it is this frizz ease dream curls Styling spray so basically it gets rid of like frizz I just put it on my hair when it's like damp and then I just kind of scrunch it through and then when I blow dry it it just isn't as frizzy as what it normally would be. Now onto my fashion favorites. So I have two pairs of shoes that I've been loving so much this summer. I seriously have worn these shoes like every single day. So the first ones are these and they are Birkenstock lookalikes. They're like slip-on sandals. I love these and they were only like $10 from Kohl's which is amazing. And then the other pair of shoes are also from Kohl's and they are jelly sandals. Oh my god you guys. I love these. I feel like a little kid when I wear them, but you know, I don't care. I think they're so cute and they are so fun. They smell kind of weird, but you don't really smell them when you're wearing them because you're like not near your feet, you know? What am I trying to say? I have my one and only bathing suit of the year. I only buy like one bathing suit a year, like not even kidding. I just, I never 
find bathing suits that I really really like enough to buy them like I don't know it's just hard for me to find bathing suits the bottoms are just plain black and then the back has this really cool like cross kind of thing not cross like cut down the middle and then it's like two different colors the top is what I really like it looks like this it has these two lines like right here and then like color block and then the back has all of these cool little things on it. It kind of looks like a skeleton. It reminds me of a skeleton, but I like it, so you know. I have been loving cropped stuff, like either cropped t-shirts or tank tops or you know, anything cropped. I just love cropped anything. I have this shirt that is from Aeropostale, and it's just a pink cropped tank, and then the back has a little bow. Oh my god, this would actually go really well together. Well, outfit right there. Boom, outfit made. So I've been really loving flowy shorts for summer anything flowy I really like so these are from Aeropostale as well they're just floral flowy shorts and I really like them and they're really comfortable and just something different from jean shorts you know I have been loving halters so I got so many halters this year this one is probably my favorite it is from PacSun and it's reversible which is cool so it has this side and then like a this kind of pattern but I really like it and I think they're really cute and comfortable and just kind of different from your average shirt. Alright and my last fashion favorite is sunglasses. They are such an essential for me in the summer because I have to wear them while I'm driving because the sun just hurts my eyes man. So I got this pair of sunglasses the other day when I was at the beach and they are heart sunglasses I've been looking for sunglasses like this for so long and these are only $13 and they're the last pair and I was like you know what I'm buying them so I'm gonna try them on for you guys really quick whoa 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 everything looks so cool right now whenever I see a green light on the road it looks blue in these sunglasses because they have like this cool like sepia effect I guess and they're really cute I like them a lot and I feel like the heart eye emoji yeah oh. Put those bad boys away. All right, now on to random things. So I have this lotion, which I guess is skincare, but you know, whatever. Shh. It is called the Tuscan Blood Orange Body Butter, and it is amazing. It smells really good, and it moistens. Moistens? What the heck is that? I don't even know what I'm trying to say. It moist. It moisturizes. Oh my god, I can't say that word today. I don't know why. I also have a perfume, well, a body mist, and it is the Wild Madagascar Vanilla body mist and I love the packaging like look at that packaging it is amazing it has a giant flower on it and it's all sparkly and pretty okay so I don't think that I have ever had something like this item that I'm about to show you because it is just incredible so I got this little purse from my mom and my sister when they went to Florida and it is a chocolate purse so it has these cool chocolate things all around it and the best part is the best part is that it smells like chocolate. Oh my god. Like, this was made for me. I love it. It smells like chocolate. It looks like chocolate. It practically is chocolate, but you can't eat it, so. It smells so good, and the smell does not wear off. I've had this thing for a few weeks, and it still smells great and amazing, and I love it. Oh my god. You guys. I have been using this wristlet every single day for summer. I'm not even kidding. So I got this a few months ago because I really needed something to put my license in, like, so, like, in one of those, like, clear things so you can actually see it. And just something that I would carry with me all the time, so I got this, and it's from DSW. It was, like, 20 bucks, and I really like it. It just looks like that. If you guys want me to do a What's in My Wristlet video, then let me know by giving this video a thumbs up or just comment below or, you know, whatever you want. Just let me know. Ooh, and I have been loving Five Crowns. This is a card game and I played it for the first time last summer and then my friend bought it for me for my birthday because we played it together last summer. So I love it, it is amazing. I really like it, it is just, it's so fun. I love card games. If you guys didn't know that then, now you do. <laughs> Whoa, donut. Whoa, whoa. You guys, this pillow is amazing. I love it. It is a donut pillow. Woo! My friend actually made this for me and it's just so adorable. I just, I love it. I, I love it so much. Like, ah! Okay, so most of my food favorites I don't have with me because I ate them all and I accidentally threw them away. So yeah, but I'm just gonna show you guys the one I have with me right now. I have two to show you guys today and they're both gum, you know, I love gum. so. I have this one which is ice cubes and they are strawberry smoothie flavored and these are just so good there's actually none left so 
I have just been saving this for like a month just so I can show you guys. So I have that. And then I also have my favorite gum ever, which is extra classic bubble gum. I love this stuff. I love blowing bubbles and it's just so great, you know? So great. All right, so now I have a few like technology, you know, movies, songs, all that kind of stuff. And I have them written out on my phone. So let me just go through them really quick. Big Hero 6 made me cry. It was so good. I loved it. And I want a Baymax in my life. Insurgent, amazing, loved it. I love Divergent, I love Insurgent, and I just, you know, I loved it. Monopoly, oh my god, I don't even know like how this came to be, but I have a Wii game for Monopoly, like the board game, and I played on the Wii and it is so much fun, and I like it a lot better than the board game because you don't have to actually like get the money to everyone and like remember to give 200 every time you pass go or whatever. It's just so much easier on the Wii, so I've been playing that a lot. Under the Dome has returned to season three. I love it so much and it is amazing. I just, that's my favorite show ever. That's one of like the only shows that I watched really. Maybe the only show, I don't, I don't even know. I feel like I've watched another show at some point in my life, but Under the Dome is the big one. I love it. Oh my God, so I have two apps that I really enjoy. So the first one is Draw Free and it's basically where you draw pictures and then it's like Pictionary. You draw pictures and you send it to your friends and then they draw one back and you get like coins and all this stuff and it's really fun, so I love that. And then I also love Spite and Malice, which is another card game, but I have it on my phone as an app and it is amazing. You basically have to use your 20 cards before the other person, so yeah. Oh, and I actually have a pretty new favorite, and it is Pixels, the movie. I actually saw it last night with my friend, and I thought it was so good. I love video game movies. Like, I loved Wreck-It Ralph so much, so I knew I would love Pixels, and I did. And it had Adam Sandler in it, so, like... Of course it would be hilarious. On to songs. So I have a few songs that I've been really liking and some of them are really old and some of them are really new. So let's get into it. So I'm just gonna list out the songs that I really like and if you guys wanna go check them out, then you can look them up or you know, whatever you want. So I really like Mr. Boombastic. I used to have this song on my old like flip phone as a ringtone and that's how I found out about it and I love it. It's just so funny and amazing. I love Wobble. Worth It, You Give Love a Bad Name, Mine by Phoebe Ryan, or I don't know how to pronounce her name, but something like that. Good, blah, what was that? Wow. Good For You by Selena Gomez. I just wanna look good for ya, good for ya, uh-uh. I love that song. And Cool For The Summer, I really like those songs. If you guys wanna go check them out, then just look them up or you know. Check them out, because they're great songs. All right, so that is it for this video. I really, really hope you guys liked it. I have a lot of stuff near me right now that's kind of all spread out because I just kind of threw it to the side when I was done with it. If you guys liked this video, then give it a big old thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you want to see more videos from me or if you like my videos, then do it. Only if you want to, though. Uh, yeah, that's all I have to say, and I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye! Oh, that was weird. I went, bye! 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 Alright, bye. <laughs> it is... Hiya! Probably... Wow, what am I doing today? I don't even know. It really helps you know, with my skin, helps my skin. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Mr. Bombastic. Ooh, wee. I don't know what I was gonna say, but I don't know what I was gonna say. I don't know what I was gonna say. This doesn't make any sense, okay.